वेलकम बैक लर्नर्स टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल रोबो आर्मी इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर बिल्डिंग आर ओन फोर व्हीलर लाइन फॉलोइंग रोबोट बाय यूजिंग आर यू एनओ यू एनओ बिफोर वी मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट प्रोसीजर लेट अस सी द कम्पोनेंट रिक्वायर्ड हियर वी हैव एन आर यू एनओ यू एनओ विच विल एक्ट एज द ब्रेन ऑफ आर रोबोट नेक्स्ट वी हैव द एल टू नाइन एट एन मोटर ड्राइवर फॉर कंट्रोलिंग द मोटर्स two ir sensors which will detect the line for our robot to follow next we have some jumper wires for the connections one double battery holder with switch and two lithium ion cells one usb cable to upload code to the arduino board let's start with how to assemble the four wheel chassis before we move on first of all Let's take a look at what we'll need. We have two acrylic chassis frames, four wheels, four DC gear motors, six columns, eight screws, eight acrylic fasteners, twelve small screws, eight nuts, and one screwdriver. All right, let's begin. Step one: mounting the motors. Secure the motors onto these fasteners by using the screws provided. Do the same for all four motors. Step 2 attaching the wheels Slide the wheels on the shafts of the motors and make sure they are fixed in place Step 3 now tighten the columns as shown in the video step 4 mounting the second chassis frame and secure it by using the screws provided make sure everything is tight and secure At last double check all connections and make any necessary adjustments Ensure that the wheels can move freely and the chassis is stable Finally Our four wheels robot chassis is now assembled and ready for the next step. With the chassis and motors in place, it's time to wire up our components. Place the motor driver here. The L to 98N motor driver has two output channels labeled as out 1, out 2, out 3 and out 4. Now pick one wire of motor 1. and one of motor to diagonally insert it in output one of the motor driver then pick the other wire of motor 1 and motor 2 and insert it in output 2 similarly connect the motor 3 and 4 to output 3 and 4 
Take the battery holder and paste it here. Insert this red wire with half cut male jumper wire in the plus 12 volt slot and tighten the screw. Similarly insert this black wire with half cut male jumper wire in the ground slot of the motor driver. Now paste Arduino UNO here. Firstly, power the Arduino from the motor driver. To do so insert the red wire to VIN of Arduino and white wire from motor driver to the ground of Arduino. Remove these clips. This motor driver is controlled by three input pins per side. Enable A, input 1 and input 2 for motor 1 and 2. And enable B, input 3 and input 4 for motor 3 and 4. Insert male to female jumper wires in these pins. Connect the Enable A and Enable B pins to 2 PWM pins on the Arduino which means pulse width modulation pins. Here I am connecting it to pin number 10 and 5 respectively. These pins will control the speed of the motors. Connect the IN1 and IN2 pins of motor 1 and 2 to digital pins on the Arduino. Here I am connecting them to pin number 9 and 8 respectively. These pins control the direction of motor 1 and 2. Similarly, connect the IN3 and IN4 pins of motor 3 and 4 to other digital pins. Like 7 and 6 respectively. These pins will control the direction of motor 3 and 4. Now paste any cardboard on the chassis like this. Paste two IR sensors on it with some gap in between them. Then we need to connect the power and ground of each sensor to the 5 volts and ground pins on the Arduino respectively. Appropriately connect the signal pins of sensor 1 to analog pin 0 on the Arduino board and the signal pin of sensor 2 to the analog pin 1. Now check the connections according to this circuit diagram. Our circuit setup, it's time to write some code. Before we move on, let's understand the logic we need to create for this project. If both sensors are on white surface then the robot should move forward. If the right sensor is on black line then the robot should turn right. If the left sensor is on black line then the robot should turn left. And if both sensors are on black line, then the robot should stop. So now, download the code file by using the link provided in the description below. Open the file if you've already downloaded the Arduino IDE, otherwise download the Arduino IDE first. Here you can see, we define the pins constants used to control the motors and read the IR sensors. ENA for pin 10 is used to control the speed of motor 1. IN1 and IN2 for pins 9 and 8 are used to control the direction of motor 1. IN3 and IN4 for pins 7 and 6 are used to control the direction of motor 2. ENB for pin 5 is used to control the speed of motor 2. R underscore S for analog pin A0 is connected to the right IR sensor. L underscore S for analog pin A1 is connected to the left IR sensor. In the setup function, we configure the pin modes and set the initial speed for the motors. They configure IR sensors as inputs. These instructions configure motor control pins as outputs. Here we have set initial speed for both motors. The loop function continuously checks the IR sensors and calls the appropriate motor control functions based on the sensor readings. Digital read R underscore S is equals to equals to zero means the right sensor detects white. Digital read L underscore S is equals to equals to zero means the left sensor detects white. Based on the sensor readings, 
beside the robot's movement. Both sensors on white, zero and zero, then call forward function to move straight. Right sensor on black, left sensor on white, one and zero, then call turn right function to turn right. Right sensor on white, left sensor on black, zero and one, then call turn left function to turn left. Both sensors on black, one and one, then call stop function to stop the robot. These functions control the direction of the motors. Forward function activates motors to move the robot forward. Turn right function activates motors to turn the robot to the right. Turn left function activates motors to turn the robot to the left. Stop function deactivates motors to stop the robot. This code effectively creates a basic line following robot. Now, we have to upload the code to our Arduino. Connect Arduino UNO to computer via USB cable. Select the correct board and port in Arduino ID. Click the upload button to upload code to Arduino. With the code uploaded to the Arduino, it's time to adjust the sensitivity of IR sensors. Make sure to position the IR sensors approximately 1 cm above the surface. The gap between the sensors should be according to the width of black line. Ensure there is a gap between the emitter LED and the receiver. Place the right IR sensor on the black line and adjust the potentiometer so that its LED does not glow. Similarly, adjust the potentiometer of the left IR sensor. Now, put our robot to the test. Place it on a track with a black line drawing on a white surface. Watch as it navigates its way along the line using all four wheels. Keep an eye on how the robot responds to different line patterns and adjust the range of sensors or code as needed to improve its performance. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe for more exciting projects.